semi-finals game of the FA Cup versus QPR single elimination so if we win we advance to the finals if we lose we go home it's very very important to win this game man we it would be another title that we have a chance of winning you know that's great for a club like Chelsea and yes sir we pull away with the victory Bob played great he scored two goals so we're going to the final of the FA Cup and here we go man now let's secure another final in another tournament the Europa League so tonight we're at home Chelsea versus Anderlecht this Belgium club is a strong club they've made it this far to the semi-finals this is the first leg of the semi-finals of the Europa League so if they made it this far it's for a reason it's because they've been playing well they've been knocking out teams that maybe were were a little bit bigger caliber so so we can't take them lightly man so it, it's a rainy night meaning that it, it, the the terrain isn't the the most ideal to be playing football but we're gonna try our best here Hazard has the first opportunity he gives it to De Bruyne what a goal from De Bruyne that actually surprised the hell out of me man you really don't see your teammates trying too many of those shots but De Bruyne was confident in his shot from outside the box five minutes in actually even only four minutes in he scores that goal so very very early lead man and here we go another play hazard oh my goodness hazard now you're gonna start missing too i thought it was only juan mata that would miss those easy opportunities oh well here's anderlecht in the 13th minute forcing our keeper to fly to that bot for fortunately for us it goes slightly wide and that was all the action we had for the first half one nil we go to the locker rooms leading leading Anderlecht at halftime here we go 46 minutes in we're gonna try another one here's Moses Moses tries a shot and the keeper responds very very well Oof, man we're getting closer to our second goal 48 minutes Ramirez feed me the ball I take the shot go lasso oh baby what a goal look at it again not a chance the keeper is getting to that one this one shot is what I call just perfection. I mean, look at where this ball goes in. Perfectly into the top corner. I mean, no keeper in the world would have gotten to that ball. Not Casillas, not Buffon, not Neuer. No keeper in the world, baby. 88th minute. Last chance for Anderlecht to get back into the game. He takes the shot. Oh, my goodness, man. The entire game, we held them back. The entire game, we played perfect defense on them, not giving them any opportunities. And just like that, they get an easy away goal. And this away goal that they just scored might come out you know, crucial for them and their aspirations of advancing to the finals of the Europa League. And that one away goal could spell our demise. But fortunately, we still pull away with the victory. I don't know if I could say the same thing if five more minutes were added into the game. Maybe they would have tied the game. But fortunately, we win 2-1, to 9.4 match rating. That played a pretty good game under the rain. It's tough, man. It's tough playing under the rain. But let's move on, man. So here's how the other bracket is going. Spurs also getting a 2-1 to one victory so it looks like the final is shaping up to be chelsea versus spurs and speaking about chelsea versus spurs here we are facing off in the league can this be a preview to the upcoming final in the europa league spurs versus chelsea chelsea versus spurs we'll find out man both teams still have to handle business and their respective semi-finals but looks like they're not going to give us any clues to who might be winning the Europa League final if they actually face off versus each other. Tie game. And then the manager decides to sit me out for the second leg of the semifinals here in the Europa League. I really wanted to play, but he said, Santi, you're going to the bench. I didn't see you well in practice. You look a little tired. You've been staying up late. You haven't been eating your Wheaties or you haven't been hitting the gym hard enough so we get up to a rough start right now we're eliminated from the Europa League but look at that huge goal from Juan Mata Bertrand ties things up so we're, we're up four to three in the semi-finals and we secure our advancement to the finals of the Europa League thank you oh man it wasn't easy what a suffered result but in the end we pulled off the victory I wish I could have played but the manager he had other plans for me so coming up next is a BPL game, and it's versus West Brom. It's not a very pleasant experience facing off versus West Brom. It reminds us 
of the final we lost in Wembley. The Capital One Cup final. I mean, the team still hasn't lived it down. It, it's, it's, it's hard for us to get past the way we let go of that final. Could have been another championship, another trophy in our trophy case. But this game is very important. It's a league game. And it would almost secure us winning the league title. But still, it's still mathematically possible for Manchester United to win the league if we keep letting go of points. If we let go of points, if we lose these upcoming games, it's still possible for Man U to crawl back up. So we, we just got to keep winning. If we win these games, we don't have to worry about Man U keep making a comeback, Man U stealing the title in the final, you know, final games. We just got to win. That's all we got to focus on doing. And yeah, look at Joe getting three opportunities. I mean, how unlucky, but how lucky. I mean, unlucky for us, but extremely lucky for them. That, oh my goodness, look at that. Three chances at it, and he still was able to, you know, he was able to recover, and he scores the first one in the 38th minute, so not much action. We played a terrible, horrible, horrific first half, and look at that, man. A, a friendly little reminder for us to wake up. A little slap in the face. Manchester United is defeating Newcastle United, so while we're losing... It's a great result for them. You know, they're winning their game. They're handling business. They're making a comeback. I'm trying luck from outside the box, trying from all different, you know, distances, and it's not working out for us. 86 minutes in. Could this one be? Could this be the late game cheese? Look at me crossing over the defenders in the 87th minute. The shot Foster, the keeper. What a save right there. The ref blows a whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just lost to West Brom once again. I'm terrified when we face West Brom, man. We just, we can beat Real Madrid, we can beat Barcelona, we can beat Bayern Munich, but we cannot beat West Brom for the life of us, man. We cannot <laughs> defeat West Brom. We, you know, it could be in the Capital One Cup, it could be in the league, it doesn't matter. West Brom is our kryptonite. So Manchester United won their game versus Newcastle, and hey, man, they're starting to creep up on us. We have to win these games. Chelsea versus Southampton another BPL game another game that I'm being benched by the manager I don't know why I mean these games are crucial manager we have to win these games it's a must win or Manchester United is going to make a comeback oh god oh my god Lucas Piazon gets a very late goal yes sir we secure the victory here in this league game at home versus Southampton so the pressure for Manchester United becomes a little less after this victory but the pressure the pressure is still there, so another BPL game, another league game, another nerve-wracking game for us. We're going up versus QPR, a must-win game at home. All we have to do is focus on winning, because if we keep winning, we almost, almost make it impossible. That's keyword is almost. Almost make it impossible for Manchester United to crawl back into this one, to catch up and to steal the title away from us. It would almost be impossible for them to do that if we win this game. You're going to see the league table coming up shortly. Here it is. We have a six point lead over Man U. I mean, this lead has been shortened to six points. If we win, we're going to extend it to nine, depending on the way they do in their games. You know, we don't have to focus on what happens with them. All we have to do. The, the title is, is in the bag. All we have to do is win. Keep winning. The rest will take care of itself. It will, it will become, eventually, it will become mathematically impossible for Man U to crawl back into this one. So, let, let's just focus on winning, boys. Come on. We've proved throughout, you know, the, the games that we're pretty good at winning. So, let's just focus on winning. Speaking about winning, 14 minutes in, Juan Mata feeds me goal. Sir, why not celebrate that goal with a backflip? Nice speed from Juan Mata once again putting that ball. You know, impossible for the keeper. No keeper in the world would have been able to save that missile right there. 27 minutes in. I'm feeding Juan Mata right here. Juan Mata, what are you doing? Juan Mata. I told you, man. I told you. Juan Mata is the only player in the world who misses those easy, easy. I know I pick on him a lot, but... He misses, he misses the easiest goals, man. Hazard destroying the post in that one. That would have been a golazo by my teammate Hazard. 
one nil we had so many opportunities in the first half and we only have a one goal lead and that makes me nervous guys that makes me nervous because goals like that just happen you know they just happen to us you know a deflection it lands right there rodriguez is there to push the ball easiest goal of his life and now we're we're tied man all, all that effort all those opportunities we had in the first half they, they were no good because now it's a tie game and i'm nervous manchester united is is breathing down our neck we must get a result man and to our luck qpr has another one right here oh my goodness someone get that aspilicueta clear that ball no oh. oh my it hits the post QPR still has it. Someone stop him. Someone clear that ball. Ramirez, David, Luis, kick it out of there. Thank you, Jesus. Making me nervous. 77th minute. Let's end with this agony. Man. I've had enough. I've had enough of that nonsense, man. Posing for the camera in my celebration. Yes, sir. Enough of this BS, man. We're a better team than QPR. Let's start showing it on the pitch, boys. Come on. That's what I was saying to my team. It started. I started hyping them up, man. What is this? Q Why is QPR making us suffer? Another chance for QPR. Huge. Absolutely huge save from the keeper. With that save, the ref blows the whistle and we win this game. Very suffered result, man. I don't know why the, the games are just becoming extremely difficult for us to win. Man. Two to one, we secure the victory versus QPR, and we almost make it impossible for Man U to crawl back into this one. 9.4 match rating, great match for me with two goals. All we gotta do is keep winning. Recording that.